My name is Shrini Carter Ryan. I'm a lecturer here in the Department of Material Science at the University of Cambridge. And my group and I work in the field of energy harvesting for small power applications. And in particular, we're interested in vibrational energy harvesting because we're at a unique stage in the evolution of modern electronics where the power consumption of devices is reduced to such an extent that it is not feasible to power them from ambient vibrations uh, in the environment, such as you know, body movements or uh, machinery moving or even blood flow. Now, our research mainly focuses on piezoelectric materials because these represent the simplest way of converting mechanical energy directly into electrical energy and vice versa. And in particular, nanoscale piezoelectric materials or, um, uh, can be used in, in what are called nanogenerators. And these are sensitive to typically small ambient vibrations. Uh, and they can convert these into useful electrical energy um, by virtue of, of their piezoelectric properties. So there's been a lot of interest uh, in piezoelectric nanowires and their applications in uh, nanogenerators, partly because these are very sensitive to the typically small-scale ambient vibrations that surround us, uh, but also because piezoelectric nanowires tend to have better piezoelectric properties than bulk or thin films of the same material. Um, now, nanogenerator research has mainly focused on traditional piezoelectric materials in the form of ceramics, but these are stiff and prone to mechanical failure. Piezoelectric polymers, on the other hand, uh, have several advantages over uh, ceramics, uh, such as flexibility, robustness, ease and, um, and, and uh, cost of fabrication, um, but they suffer from inferior piezoelectric properties. So one of the things that we're interested in is, is to exploit the advantages of piezoelectric polymers uh, while coming up with ways of enhancing the piezoelectric properties, and this includes uh, looking at polymer ceramic nanocomposites where we combine the best of both materials. Now, we started off by making uh, piezoelectric polymer nanowires using a very simple, scalable uh, template wetting process um, by which we could, we could make um, lots of self-fold, um, aligned, vert vertically aligned uh, nanowires uh, at one go. And we incorporated, this, we incorporated these into a nanogenerator and, and it showed that it worked. Uh, and, and we wanted to see how its performance compared to all the other nanogenerators that were being reported in the literature. And what we found was while there was a lot of work which has been done in this field, uh, key parameters, uh, key performance parameters such as energy conversion efficiency, um, the, the actual um, mechanism of, of driving the nanogenerator, uh, the, the frequency of operation, these often go unreported. And this was, this formed the basis of, uh, of the motivation behind the, the present work. So in this paper we investigate the energy harvesting performance of piezoelectric polymer and ceramic nanowires. Uh, and in particular, we define new figures of merit uh, in this field for the first time, uh, with the aim of catalyzing a more meaningful and focused discussion of these promising materials and devices, uh, enabling the field to mature. Now, our analysis is straightforward and covers all realizable nanogenerator driving scenarios. Uh, and we find that depending on, on the particular driving mechanism and the particular mode of excitation, piezoelectric polymer uh, nanowires can behave quite differently from piezoelectric ceramic nanowires. We also look at the effect of frequency, of, of driving frequency, on the performance uh, of, of the device. Uh, and these are, these are parameters which are important to the, to the functioning of the device but may not have been considered. The figures of merit that we've defined in the paper and evaluated for a range of commonly used piezoelectric, ceramic and polymer nanowires uh, have implications that go far beyond energy harvesting. Uh, so nanogenerators, for example, have potential applications as sensors. So as nanogenerators make the transition from the lab to the real world, uh, our paper offers a timely and highly relevant benchmark by which materials and geometries can be compared and selected for specific applications. So moving forward, um, our group is interested in, in looking at hybrid nanowires which combine the best of polymers and ceramics. And so it's vitally important for us to understand the performance and, um, and properties of these uh, single phase materials uh, to begin with. And so our research strategy involves uh, fabricating these hybrid nanowires, uh, studying their nanoscale properties using, uh, for example, scanning probe techniques. Uh, and finally incorporating these into devices with the aid of computational models um, that, that we have been developing. So our work has been funded by the Royal Society through a Dorothy Hodgkin Fellowship, uh, as well as the European Research Council through a starting grant on polymer-based piezoelectric uh, nanogenerators for energy harvesting. And uh, our group comprises uh, a very dynamic and vibrant uh, bunch of dedicated PhD students and postdocs, uh, without whom none of this would be possible.